Hey folks, welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short. And we are actually, we've been a busy bee since our last episode. So last episode, we had a helicopter event and managed to use it to our personal benefit. We basically took the hordes and redirected them to the town of Woodbury, where the guards exhausted all their ammo. And I think they're all dead now. So that's good. That's good. Uh, we haven't been in town since. Instead, I spent it sprucing up my base and gearing up for the eventual shutdown of power. As you can see, I've got a new farm right here. There's Jonathan with his plank walking around. Um, so we got tomatoes. I got cabbages over here. That's broccoli and potatoes right here. I'm kind of working up on it. We do need to find us a farming for beginning beginners book, but we'll get to that in just a second. Our carpentry skill as a result has gone way up, um, primarily from, uh, if you can believe it, dismantling those master beds, those uh, big beds. So we've been able to do that. And um, and thanks for the tip, Keila. He was the one that gave it to me a couple weeks ago on Twitch. I appreciate it. Um, we've also spent a day looting houses around us for food, most most notably the perishable stuff, because the idea is to eventually have all this stuff full of, uh, of junk. I have two shelves right here. I'm going to put um, or do some organizing. I want to take all my perishables, obviously, and put them in the ice bin, take all my spices, put them right here, maybe. And then right over here will be like all of our like cooking pots and things like that. So we'll get that. I did grab this this refrigerator. I shouldn't I shouldn't have. Refrigerator has uh, forty space in the actual in the actual refrigerator itself, but the freezer only has twenty. I'm gonna go on the lookout for another one of these ice bins because I think that's gonna help me the best, the most. I am planning on organizing my stuff, but for now, I think I'm going to. Uh, and give it a break. Uh, I'm not going to take you along the whole organizing thing. That would just make for a very boring episode. So what are we doing today? Today we are headed into town. I want to go to three places. I want to go to the police station. There's a 30 off 8 rifle that I remember uh, being there. As well as ammo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Uh, we'll eventually do target practice in this area. We've decimated most of the zombies for the most part. So it should be an easy way without getting overwhelmed. Um, I also want to go to the bookstore because we need to find that Farming for Beginners book. I'm actually going to look for all the skill books so I can put that behind me. Um, that's for sure. And I'll go to the gas station. Not the gas station that we've queued up for um, when the power goes out, but the gas station that's a little bit south of here. And I'm going to see if there's coolers. Now, that might actually be a hot zone, but um, we're going to see. Anyway, um, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Uh, giddy up. I think I've kind of mentioned this before, but uh, as you can see, there are more and more zombies are infiltrating our neighborhood now. I think part of it might have been like the just the standard migration, but another, the big issue is I keep driving back and forth. So every time I drive towards the safe house, they kind of follow me there. And uh, yeah, so I imagine with the migrations, they're not, it's not supernatural for them to get all the way to the house, but because I make so much noise driving back and forth, that's going to be a problem. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the bookstore first. I want to find this Farming for Beginners book. Like I said, I'm going to take any skill books I can find. Just kind of put an end to me going back and forth. Got a lot of work to do. There's two of them here. I got a crow. Oh, what was that? You see that tree move? Hmm. I don't see anything. All right. Took that energy bar. Thank you very much. And we're just gonna cruise on down here. We're gonna get we're gonna do this, then we're gonna hit the police station and then that gas station. That gas station might be a little bit too hot to touch, but we're gonna see. Ah, someone right behind me. We go. And there. I'm about to start, I think I'm gonna do another uh, tips video, and one of them is gonna be talk about how how kiting. I mean, well, it'll be kind of a beginner tip, but I mean, a lot of beginners don't understand that the process of kiting them around buildings, if there's too many of them, and making them, uh, is she gonna come or no? No, okay, we're just gonna go in. Um, and kind of dispersing them, because when they're these huge clumps, they're really difficult to manage, partially because of the different speeds or whatever. If there's like, a, if there's like five or six or 10, a lot of times they're easy to disperse because um, 
they're going at different speeds so you can pick off the uh, fast ones first and then just kind of ease your way into it. I do not like that sound. Ugh. All right. Watching for intermediates, expert trapping, expert cooking. One of the problems with getting these skill books is that you just forget what you might need. I do need to find a sledgehammer too, but I figure I'm going to do first. See if I grab all those generic books, I might be able to find them too. I don't know if I want to carry all that, all that weight. Yep. Yeah, so kiting is like a big deal, especially if you can perfect the uh, the motion, the knife motion, the stabby stab motion in this game. I imagine these guys are all next door. Luckily, there's not a door, that, which makes us, huh. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab these spices cookbooks as well. Pickling, spices. We might be able to use those later on. I haven't really investigated too much into cooking, but... You know, I mean, I have a cooler, and I might have a second cooler here in a second. The, the power should be going off at any time, so when that happens, whatever I have in the cooler is what I have in the cooler. Uh, advanced electricity, do I have it? I don't, okay. Well, hell. You would think there'd be at least one Farming for Beginners book in this thing. I guess I could go to um, the elementary school as well. I'm kind of, I, I didn't realize this, I kind of screwed the pooch here. I started a little bit late, around 1700 hours, which means that we don't have a lot of daylight. And uh, the the problem with that is, is that, you know, once upon a time, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But now the nights are so freaking dark. And if you don't have cat's eyes, you are in it. That is for sure. All right, one more pass. All right, getting a little bit too creeped out here. I can hear him. Okay, there's one. She has nothing. Oh, and there's a, how did I miss this guy? There we are. Go ahead and dismantle these uh, headphones. Little by little, moving up my, that electricity. That electricity, uh, then eventually I'll be an expert. I'm looking forward to 41. Build 41, that is. Ah, that must have been where the all that rustling was. She just didn't hear me stomp on her friend. All right, so we're going to go down here. I would just walk there, but the problem is, is it's getting later. And I do not want to be in a police station. Or I don't want to be in, in, inside any building when it's that dark. I think it's right over here. Here we go. A few right there. There's a couple coming up too. Go ahead and take the, the ones behind us first. And there's a little bit more than a couple. Wow. All right. Move back. And see, this is like a, a one of the forms of kite, kiting you can do. So you get them all caught up on, uh, on the car and it gives you a chance to do your thing. Ah, hellfire. Hellfire. There we go. There's one. Let me get this fast one. And then once you got the, all the ones coming up the same speed, it's just a matter of pushing them down and taking them out little by little. Let me get a beta blocker. I need it. Four more. Even if you can just do them just a little bit. Oh, that was close. See, I'm sitting here trying to give like hints and tips. And all the while, I might end up getting myself killed or scratched or something, which is could be the same as getting yourself killed, right? All right, so we got one here. I guess all the rest of them went back into the building. This one, this one. Check my backside. And, yeah, just like I expected. Any more? Yep, one more. Easy enough. Easy peasy. Let's check around the building. 
make sure that there aren't like a, a big group right there. Looks good. All right, we're gonna take care of these that are uh, causing a lot of commotion here. Here we go. Don't you worry about that? There's one. Here we go. Come on out. Cool. Cool. We are gonna eventually check into Woodbury too, but I just think it's gonna be too high for me to go in there. I'm gonna have to give it a second. Let them disperse a little bit better. We will take that hiking bag. Um, there's two of those. I don't even know what the gun, how to maintain guns. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured out also the, uh, the magazines, how to load up the magazines in this, like this Beretta 92 magazine. I guess I got to load it up with, uh, ammo before I put it in, right? That's what I'm guessing, but I don't know. Oh, come on. Where are you? All right, we're going to go ahead and take the finale. I can't believe I missed this 12 gauge before. There's two of them. Nice. Here we go. Don't really need a police baton. Where is it? I thought I, I could have swore. There it is. There it is. An AW308. I, I'm just kind of set a 30 off 8, but I don't know if that's even the, the way you say it. I don't know anything. I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to guns. I know that you uh, you point the thing with the uh, with the hole on the end towards whatever you're trying to shoot. It's <laughs> good enough. All right, let's go down to uh, to the other place. Not a hundred percent sure. I think it's if I go straight, I should be able to find it. We'll, we'll find out. Down here, maybe. Not down here. Okay, maybe through this parking lot over here. Maybe. No, there's Milton. Hey, Milt. We saw him at the helicopter event. He somehow managed to survive. Oh, that's crazy. Ah. Dang it. Alright, we're gonna just keep going. I'm gonna go back the way I came and come around. Yeah, there's, you can see, this is coming from Woodbury. But there are just a few too many still. If I had Ghoul King's skill set, maybe. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Oh! Let's just about hit that uh, the tree. Okay, we'll go around here. This has been a pretty fuel efficient truck. I mean, I've been driving it for a while and I'm still on full. Wow. All right, that's a pizza place. That might be a good place to investigate for food. Maybe find a freezer full of something or another. A little something something. I just don't, you know, I mean, obviously I can go with trapping, which I haven't really investigated trapping either. I usually don't live that long for it to be a thing. But uh, if I want to get my cooking up, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I know that once you get to a certain level, I think it might be a mastery, you can actually use the zombies as food, which is an interesting concept. Okay, here it is, right here. Want to get out? Ah, heck. Okay, PV, PV, PVP forced on. Who's doing the firing? Is there any way I'm going to be able to grab it? That's the ice bin that I want. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to uh, to get it. Yeah, the gas station owner. That was from earlier. She should be long gone by now, but... You know, Project Zombo, the way it copes with so many... Uh, so much stuff, it can't, like independently move zombies from one sector to another instead it has to uh, rely on that yeah i'm not gonna worry about it we'll go to the pizza place instead it's 2150 that's uh 
almost 10 o'clock. We're gonna see, we're gonna uh, see if there's any food there. Change of plans, change of plans. Going here. Here we go. There's a group. Yeah, here's quite a few of them. It's all right. You can grab the fast ones. There might be a few. Yeah, I can grab what this one, two, Maybe this one too. Ah, heck. Well, damn it. There we go. Back it up. I've gotten to where I can I can have a good feel for how much I can do before they start grabbing on me. All right. Uh. Let's see, I'll go over here. It's dark enough to where they should lose interest. Because even though it's dark for me, it's dark for them too. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm banking on, at least. Okay. You think? No. Get rid of these other... These few over here, and then I'll move in. in see if I can get in. Might try that food market, too. Ah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take out a few of these guys, too. Ah, just about. This time that. Okay. Protect our backside here. Take it down. There we go. Maybe we can push them all down. Got it. Got it. A little stompy stomp and we're done. Nice. If they have anything of import on them, they don't. We come in through the front door? No. Maybe I'll try the other door. No. Okay. Let's see if the back door works. Well, hell. Okay. We'll come over on this side. Yeah, it's starting to get really dark. It's like 11 o'clock. Ah, come on. Open, climb the roof. Don't want to close it. Ah, I don't know if I want to close it. I don't want to be stuck. Okay, this is nice. Go ahead and loot it all. Even that rotten piece of chicken. Well, fill this both of our bo bottles up. Not as productive as I was hoping it to be today. I was hoping to get that ice uh, cooler. That's all right. We might do a little target practice tomorrow if I can figure out how the magazines in the next episode. Is that in, in here? Don't hear. I don't see anything. Let's just get out of here. I'm getting creeped out. She's banging on something. All right, back to the house. Um, and I think I'm done here. My name's Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. And yes, if you like Project Zomboid, you should you should think about subscribing to me. Um, I do uh, Project Zomboid videos basically uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, started uh, doing other things. I do stream on Twitch too, if you want to check me out there. I am at uh, twitch.tv forward slash drunk on life. You can always follow me on Twitter as well. That's uh, twitter.com forward slash drunk on life. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will talk to y'all later.